You arrived. It's been far too long since our last meetup, Traveler. I hope you've adjusted your diet and have been taking care of yourself. It is always a treat having you over. I really would invite you more often if I could. However, I've been rather occupied with my experiments. It does not help that I also have to watch over Klee. That girl. Always exploding fishes, that one. <sighs> you know, she is partially the reason my schedule contains so many time constraints. I've barely had any time for myself to paint. <clears throat> Albeit, I've made significant progress in my research this year compared to the others, so, uh... All is well. <clears throat> Enough about me now. Uh, how has your year been? Hmm. hmm. I see. So I guess this year had a lot in store for you after all. I can't say I'm all that surprised. It's usually always the shiniest stones of the bunch that are most sought out for. Well, even if you weren't that shiny, tougher, dull stones are more of a necessity to this world anyway. I have no doubts in my mind about your fate. I believe you'll prevail no matter what you face, but... <clears throat> only time can tell. Your teeth are chattering. Are you that cold? Do you seek more warmth? You're shivering so intensely. Hold on. Here. Take that blanket and wrap yourself tighter in it. I will prepare us both a warm beverage to drink. There's also some lumber nearby my shelf of potions you can use to start a bonfire to warm yourself up. Sit tight. I won't be too long. <sighs> Here. Uh, make sure you blow on it carefully before you take a sip. I wouldn't want you burning your tongue now. I would have made tea for us, but unfortunately, I'm fresh all out of herbs and other ingredients. <clears throat> Worry not, I'll be sure to accompany Sucrose the next time she visits the market. So, uh, how is it? Is the drink to your liking? I'm still trying to perfect this hot chocolate recipe Amber taught me recently. I rarely ever make hot chocolate. Well, I hardly make drinks like this at all in general. 
<laughs> Based on that facial expression of yours, I'd assume the hot chocolate was a success. If you like it that much, I could tell you the contents of this recipe. Amber expressed that I am free to share this recipe with anyone I'd like, so it'd be no hassle at all. Why don't I just give you a step-by-step -step guide to making this hot cocoa? To begin preparing, you will require these ingredients. Milk, sugar, cocoa powder, chocolate, mint, mint extract, whipped cream, and finally regular cream. Marshmallows are more so optional to apply, so do feel free to include or exclude them if you wish. <coughs> First, you should start off by dicing whatever type of chocolate you have and start putting it into a bowl. Hmm. Chop, chop, chop. Chop all of the chocolate into tiny pieces. Chopping the chocolate, chopping the chocolate. Chop, 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 chop. Dice, 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 dice. Chopping the chocolate, chopping the chocolate. Chop, 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 chop. Chop, 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 chop. <clears throat> Now that we are done chopping up and transferring our chocolate, set up a fire to the side and grab a separate pan to pour two cups of milk into it. After you have poured the milk into the pan, Determine how much sugar you would like to use for the hot cocoa, and sprinkle that amount of sugar into the pan. Okay. Then, add your cream into the mixture and let the pan heat up until it begins to foam or bubble. In other words, let it boil for just a bit, but don't forget about it. Now, coming back to the chocolate we had just recently cut, using the fire as our only heat source, go ahead and melt it into a heated chocolate paste. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Once it has been melted, Pour the melted chocolate into the creamy milk mixture and whisk it carefully until it is properly integrated into the mixture. Once you are stirring it all up, slowly apply an extract of mint and proceed with your stirring. Be sure to have a firm grip when you're stirring. spoon falling into the cauldron would be quite troublesome. <laughs> You're going to want to grab a cup now so that you may pour in your newly made hot cocoa into the cup. If you wish to add any toppings, Feel free to apply a mound of whipped cream on the top of the hot chocolate. Now, only for this part, I'll be adding my own personal twist to this recipe. I'm going to blowtorch the whipped cream to attain a more roasted flavor for the general drink. A minor change, but it makes the drink slightly more pleasant. Then, sprinkle a minimal amount of cocoa powder onto the mound of whipped cream like seasoning. <sighs> Apply a garnishing of a mint herb on the top of the drink, and now... 
The beverage is complete. Voila. Amber does have a marshmallow recipe, but, uh, again, the marshmallows aren't really an important necessity to this recipe's general quality, at least in taste. Some marshmallows wouldn't harm the drink, though. <clears throat> Bottoms up, traveler. hot cocoa formula this delectable. Its taste is even more elevated when she personally brews it herself. Perhaps she puts a tiny bit of her own care and essence into this recipe. Hmm. This is pleasant though, isn't it? Sometimes, festive breaks are necessary to a healthy life cycle. I'm happy to be sharing this moment with you. Ah, if it's okay with you, I've been reciting a song that I've been working on for a while now, in case of a festive momentous occasion just like this. I planned on making it a duet featuring Sucrose, but... She was too flustered to sing in general. Would you like to hear what I have so far? Hmm. Very well. Beginning to look a lot like Christmas Everywhere you go Take a look at the five and ten It's glistening once again With candy canes and silver lanes that glow It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Toys in every store but the prettiest sight to see is the holly that will be on your own front door. A brand new bow that'll shoot in a super brave crew is the wish of Amber and Bennett. The theater's packed to the max where they clap for the tricks of Lynn and Lynette. And mom and dad can hardly wait for school to start again. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Everywhere you go There's a tree by the goth hotel One in Mondstadt as well It's the sturdy kind that doesn't mind the snow It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Soon the bells will start And the thing that'll make him ring Is the carol that you sing 
right within your heart. <laughs> It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. A pack of passing boars. But the prettiest sight to see is the holly that will be on your own front door. Sure, it's Christmas once a more. Uh. How was it? Was my voice in tune? Singing and writing songs is hardly my forte at all. This is simply my own rendition of a pre-existing holiday song created simply for the fun of it. But really, I'm curious to hear your thoughts on it. Hmm. Good to know. Oh, Traveler. Would it be alright with you if I work on a particular piece I've been poking at together slowly? I'm almost done with it as I've just got to include the finishing touches and then I'll be able to give it to a certain someone. If I don't respond to you, it's nothing personal. I may be extremely concentrated on completing this project. Specifically, today. Hmm. Perhaps the hair is in need of a little adjusting. Let's just brush, brush, brush it up over here. Brush, 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 brush. Paint, paint over here. Paint, paint, paint. The eyebrow needs a little shading in. And now the other eyebrow. Okay, we're getting somewhere. I think the nose needs a little adjusting too. Fix the nose up just a little bit. Good. Looking good. Seeing some significant improvements in this art piece. Okay, what's next? Anything else? The general shading I can work on later. Enjoy the cheeks a little bit. Puff up the cheeks. Mm. Okay, yeah. Duh. Fix the neck a little bit. Add the little collarbone. Okay. Finished. One more thing. Both of the eyes. The eyes, the eyes. I got to fix the eyes. The eyes, the eyes, the eyes, the eyes, the eyes. The eyes need a little fixing. I gotta brush up the eyes a little bit. Brush up the eyes. Focus. Add a little more detail to the irises. And the pupils. 
Pupils. Okay. Mm. Okay. Ah. It's getting rather dark quickly, so I will have to wrap up today a little earlier than usual to look after Klee tonight, but before that, I'd like to give you some gifts for myself and Sucrose, if you don't mind. Here. This gift is from Sucrose to Paimon. It's a portable prototype mechanism made for blending berries into beverages called smoothies. If you blend your fluid with some ice and freeze it, you can get the cold version of a smoothie, which are called slushies. Uh, though, careful to not get yourself a brain freeze by drinking them. And do not stick your fingers into the mechanism. There are very fast rotational blades within them, and it can cause a serious injury if... Yeah. As for my gift, it's nothing too extraordinary. I spent a lot of time working on this project when I could, despite the limited amount of time I had to do this. I sincerely hope you cherish this self-portrait painting of you I sketched up. If it wasn't obvious enough that the painting I was touching up on earlier was the same artwork I'm gifting to you right now, well... Here's your answer. I needed it to be as close to perfect as perfect can be, although that is technically impossible, but enjoy. I'll escort you on your way out since it's rather dark outside. It's not that I doubt your navigation or combat skills at all. I'm well aware that you remember your way around Dragonspine. It's just... The polite thing to do to see your guests off properly. Hmm. Hmm. You're shivering again. Perhaps the bonfire and hot chocolate weren't enough to sustain much warmth for you. Here, why don't you take my coat for now for extra warmth? My body has built up a resistance to sub-zero temperatures like this. I come up here often, so my body has long adjusted to Dragonspine's many altitudes and temperatures anyway. Huh? No, no, no. It's no issue. Really. I assure you, I will be alright. Step. There's a puddle. Here. No. Okay. I think I'm starting to see the trail that leads out of here. Before you run off again, I really want to thank you for spending today with me. Sucro is out of town on a whim, and Klee surprisingly slept relatively early today. I would be all alone on the holidays if it weren't for you. Not that that I don't mind, but I certainly appreciate the gesture of paying me a visit. 
Thank you. Perhaps next time we can try building snowmen together. Though my sculpting skills aren't exactly... great. <clears throat> okay, we're here. Try not to get frostbite. I'll be seeing you soon, traveler. Take care. Hmm. <laughs>